can you describe how you see the role of a roofing contractor, what contractor can and cannot do on insurance claims? There's a lot of speculation and the rules have been changed over the years. How do you see a contractor working today with an insurance company and what he can and cannot do? Well, there's, there's can and cannot do written and can and cannot do reality. Uh, as written, uh, contractors aren't supposed to be uh, bargaining on behalf of the policyholder with the insurance company. However, in, in reality, that takes place pretty much every day. Uh, now, the, the contractor provides a vital service that I think benefits the insurance company as well as the policyholder. The policyholder, under all policies that I know of, require prompt notice. And after a storm comes in and damages neighborhoods, contractors go out and they basically, uh, I mean, they go knock door to door and they provide uh, free inspections. Sometimes it's paid, but most of the time it's free. And that's for policyholders that, you know, anytime there's a loss that's less than catastrophic, many policyholders would never know that they even had damage. Uh, say the roof color covering is, uh, is damaged and uh, you might have water coming in, you might not, but if it comes through, it might not make it through the attic uh, and hit the insured on the forehead as they're walking you know, in to get waffles in the morning. They might not know they're, they're having damage. So I believe contractors do provide a, a vital service. They let the policyholder know that they have been damaged by that latest storm so they can provide prompt notice to the insurance company. Anytime notice is delayed for any reason, it makes it more difficult for the insurance company to adjust the claim. So as I mentioned, there is a contract between the policyholder and the insurance company, where the insurance company agrees to pay for damage. Then there's an entirely separate contract between the homeowner and the contractor, where the contractor agrees to fix damage. They are completely separate contracts. Neither controls the other. But there is that area where both are dependent upon one another, aren't they? So what's the contractor's role in the claim process? Well, the simple answer is none. All right, the contractor is there to fix the damage that the insurance company pays for. But I agree with Chad that there is an area where we all are better off working together. Chad used the word in his opening statement, two words, be kind. Those of you that know me, I like to say, be nice. And I always say that when I'm at the events with contractors, I put up a big smiley face and say, be nice. So there is a role for contractors in the claim process. What's gonna keep them out of trouble with the whole issue of UPA, which we can talk about, I'm sure, uh, more. Uh, what they should do is explain the damage they see and explain their estimate to the insurance company. That they can do. What they cannot do is assume control for the negotiation of the claim. That is simply prohibited under the law. All right, public adjusters used to not be able to negotiate claims. They got a statute that carved out their right to do it from the unauthorized practice of law statutes. So as long as contractors just explain the damage they see and explain their estimate, they're going to be okay. 